Okay, everyone, so let's welcome to the 6th of June, 2023. I'm still recovering from this sickness, so I don't even know what day it is, but I am getting better. So we're going to hammer through this and uh, and push forward. Um, so again, if you want more of this content, if you want this video emailed to you daily, um, and you want all of the accompanying charts, you can take a look at them and go through them yourself. Sign up for my email list on my website, statsedtrading.com, and also it's that uh, QR code right there. You can just point your phone at it and scan it. Um, nothing to, you know, it's free. There's I, mean, I don't give the lists out to anyone or anything like that. Um, if you're also interested in taking a look at my uh, trading tools, any of the trading tools I have here, that's also on my website that you can check out there. Um, those are affiliate links, so they support me. Again, if you're looking for a charting platform or a scanner or something like that, uh, check them out there for sure. I don't put anything on there that I don't actually use myself, so you can you can know that there is some endorsement going on there as well. So without further ado, let's get into it here with Bitcoin. And with Bitcoin, we basically had a breakdown. So I talked uh, on the weekend about you know how I got stopped out right here, and I was looking for it to break down here if if this actually finally gave way. It did. I got triggered on a stop limit in through here. I'm going to look to cover this one, I think, fairly quickly. Um, not too sure what happened. Let's just do this again and this again. I guess my camera got broken there. That's okay. That's just part of it. Okay, let's hammer away. Let's actually get rid of my face entirely. There we go. Let's just hammer through it. No one needs to see me anyway, right? Um, so yeah, Bitcoin broke down. I'm now looking to see what happens at the 200-day moving average just to see if we can get down to that price. It is an upward sloping 200-day moving average. So that's bullish more than it is bearish. So if we get down to that price and I see any kind of bullish action, I'll probably cover there uh, and maybe even look to flip long. So... Uh, with that said, the only thing I'm looking at here in the ETF space is the SPY. SPY is actually just kind of chopping sideways here, which is what you want to uh, expect. I have better drawings over on Trade Ideas here, which is my scanning tool. This is how I find all the names uh, that I present to you guys. But yeah, we have uh, 120 bucks a share. That's kind of the area that's super important for this one. Holding that very nicely, just a little dinky kind of inside day. Uh, nothing to, to write home about, but that's exactly what you want to see in the market. You don't want to see these massive moves uh, one way or the other. Um, you know, you just want to see a kind of a consolidation, uh, a slight pullback, something like that, that kind of proves that there are buyers waiting at lower prices, right? Big institutions don't chase trends up. They buy at lower prices, so we want to know if they're there. So we just need to wait to see if we can see buyers. Um so some things that I, I took today is AC, ACVA. Uh, this was one of those anchored VWAP plays. So we have this uh, anchored VWAP from this area right here. Um, you can see kind of push back up. It comes back, it pulls into it. I don't think I drew that right. Let's try that again. I'm going to draw it on that candle. Um, yeah, so it pushes back up, it pulled back into it, and it looks like it's bouncing off this. So I picked a little bit of this one up today. I didn't really add anything to the list because nothing really kind of struck and uh huge to me but i will go over some things that i think that were on the list that may be setting up so this idcc massive push after uh, earnings and a kind of a news event and now it's just having this sideways consolidation so as long as we're kind of just putting in this bear flag i'm going to keep this one on watch ideally we want to look to see if we can push through that one there um so on otex we had a breakout here this one's a nice strong um uh, strong stock again big push after earnings strong close on that one so i took some out that as well and then i took some wing stop so wing stop i've been basically playing around this 200 dollar area that has been resistance back here and then you can see support along all through here then we had this engulfing day right so we had this little red day yesterday gap down rallied all day long closed really really strong so i think that may have been the kind of signal that we had that pushed us off that level so my hope is that's right and we can continue to go from there so my camera is still frozen but if you want to scan the code i'll leave that up for a second thank you very much i will talk to you guys later